What's up everyone? Today we're going to talk about how to buy tokens directly through the Uniswap exchange on the Ethereum mainnet. For those of you who don't know, Uniswap is a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange, meaning that anyone can list tokens without needing permission. This is different to centralized exchanges like Binance or Coinbase, where there are strict rules and listing requirements about what tokens can be listed. This open approach means that Uniswap does offer a larger variety of tokens, including smaller and newer projects. However, it does also mean that there are going to be a bunch of scam tokens on the platform. So make sure you do your research before investing in anything. Now that we've got that out the way, let's get into it. Here's a little schematic showing you what you'll need in order to trade tokens on Uniswap. Firstly, you are going to need a hot wallet like MetaMask, which acts as your connection point to the Uniswap exchange and will allow you to trade tokens. Note, unlike centralized exchanges like Binance or Coinbase, you hold your private and public keys. Uniswap does not hold your crypto for you. This is why you need a hot wallet like MetaMask in order to trade. If you don't have crypto in your MetaMask account, you can either buy it directly from MetaMask or send it from your centralized exchange account. You want to make sure though that your wallet is funded with some Ethereum. This is important because you need Ether in order to pay for transaction fees. I'm not going to show you guys how to do steps one and two in this tutorial, but I will leave links in the description below um, to other videos explaining the process. And then finally, step three, this is what we're going to focus on. Once you have your wallet set up with some Ethereum in it, you are going to be ready to trade on Uniswap. The first thing we're going to have to do is go to the uniswap.org website and click on launch app. From there, we're going to have to connect our MetaMask wallet. So in the top right corner, you can see the button connect. Click on that and MetaMask. It's going to ask us to log in. Um, I've already logged into MetaMask, so it's not going to ask me to put in my password, but it'll ask you. As you can see, I have 0.1 ETH in this account. Um, you can see it from the official MetaMask as well, 0.1, and that's what we're going to use to trade out of. So here we're going to say trading out of ETH, and the token that we want to buy is called Render. Um, this is actually a token that my friend told me about. I haven't done any research, so yeah, ignore what I said right in the beginning. But let's click on that. Um, we are going to want to buy 0.05 ETH of that. Now, this is how, much, how many render tokens we are going to get for our ETH. Now, if you want to make sure that the token you're buying is actually the correct one, you want to get the contract address from either the official website or CoinGecko. So I'm going to go to CoinGecko here and click render. Um, CoinGecko has a lot of information about the token, so you can just have a look and make sure this is actually the one that you want to buy. And then at the bottom here, under info, you can just copy the contract, come back to Uniswap, and paste it in the Select Token tab. Once you've done that, you'll see that it comes up with um, the render token and just click into that. So this is the same one. But you just want to do that to make sure that the token is correct. Um, at the bottom here, I want to go over this information. Max slippage is set at 5%. So slippage is basically the difference in the price that you expect to pay and the price that the trade actually settles at. Um, I usually leave this at auto, but if you want to change it, you can just go to the top here at settings, from auto, put custom, and then choose what percentage you want. Yeah. And then network costs. Um, since this is the, is the Ethereum main chain, network costs are very expensive. Um, Ethereum is notorious for this. That's why if your token is listed on a layer 2 like... Arbitrum, for instance, you might want to buy it through there because the network fees are significantly lower. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to do everything on the Ethereum main chain. So once we're happy with all of that, we click swap. Gives us a, another option to look at everything. Confirm. Now MetaMask is going to ask your permission to basically make the trade. So it's going to uh, say what the gas fees are. And we're going to say, OK, confirm. Cool, it has submitted the request now, so we're just gonna wait for that to finalize. Cool, swap success. Um, so you can view it on the Explorer. So this is Etherscan. Um, this will give you information about the trade. And we're gonna go back to yeah Uniswap and go to our MetaMask account. Now, as you can see, our Ethereum has reduced by the amount, but the render token isn't there. 
So if this happens, don't get scared. Um, okay, <laughs> well, there it comes up. But usually you have to import tokens and put in the token address. So right here by custom token, the same token address that we got from CoinGecko, you're just going to copy that. Um, come back to Uniswap, oh, MetaMask, import tokens, custom token, and you're just going to paste it in there. Then you can see it comes up with render, click next, and then it shows there's your 21.9 render and import. So that is the process of buying tokens directly through Uniswap. If you guys did find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more useful insights. Cheers, guys.